Today I'm going to show you how to create and edit learning paths as an admin. From the admin homepage, navigate up to content and select learning paths. Learning paths differ from collections as users are expected to view the content in a sequential order rather than viewing the content in any order. If I wish to create a new learning path, I will select create new in the upper right hand corner. I am required to enter a title and description of the learning path. I also highly recommend filling out the optional fields skills and custom tags. In skills, I will enter the skills that I expect my employees to learn from viewing the content in this learning path. Custom tags are similar to keywords that when entered in the search bar, they will allow your learners to find the content faster. Upon completing these fields, I will then select create. With my mouse, I will hover over a learning path that I've previously created, become a manager, and select more. Here I have the ability to recommend the content to learners or groups. When selected, I am prompted to enter the names of the individual learners or groups, or I can select recommend to all users. I can enter a message as to why I'm recommending this learning path to my employees. I can also add an optional due date for it to be completed by and then select send. I can also get a shareable link which I can include in an email or other messaging mediums as well as duplicate, edit, and delete the learning path. When I select this learning path, I am presented with its name, description, skills to be learned, and custom tags. To the right, I'm provided details such as the total length of the content included, number of items, and the language. Now, as I scroll down, this is where you will particularly see how learning paths differ from collections. It is broken down into sections. Section one, transitioning from an individual contributor. Section two, becoming a manager, and section three, becoming a leader. As I stated earlier, these courses are expected to be viewed in a sequential order. The subjects become more precise and in-depth as I progress through the learning path. Scrolling back up to the top of the page, I can once again recommend it to learners or get a shareable link. Under more, I have options including duplicate and delete. And when I select edit, I can edit the learning paths overview, such as its title, description, and add or remove custom tags. I can reorder the sections by selecting these down and up arrows and edit the sections title and description. I can also delete a section and when selecting add content I can search the platform for additional content and videos relating to the learning path at hand and then I would select add and done. I can move individual courses or videos from one section to another by selecting and then dragging them. And when selecting the ellipsis next to an item, I can add a note for the learner or delete it. And to save any changes I've made, select Save and Publish.